think in doing so you'll find out that the person you see in the classroom might not be the same person the professor is. If someone's leading a class of 300, 400 people, they have to be very organized, very formal, and they have to push through an agenda. Um, I think if you're sitting one-on-one -on -one or in small groups, you'll realize that the person is actually a person. We like to think of a course as a, as a community, the people involved in a course as a community. And as with any other community, the more we know each other, the more effective is that community and the easier it is to interact with each other. So if we know each other, even if it's just a little bit, that helps with that communication. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind uh, in terms of talking to professors is that you may want to speak to people even if you're not in their class. So if there's somebody who, uh, whose research or whose teaching interests connect with something that you're interested in, even if you're not taking their course, uh, you can still go and talk to them. Uh, one of the things about professors is that most of us really love what we do. Uh, we love our research, we love what we teach, and we love talking about what we do. Uh, so if somebody comes to me and asks me to talk about what I do, uh, that makes me really happy. So even if that student is not in one of my classes, that's okay. Um, if you want to do that, just find out um, when this person's office hours are, and then go see them. Introduce yourself, explain why you want to talk to them, and uh, probably they will be very excited to see you, most likely. Um, you may have caught them on a bad day and they don't want to talk to you, but probably they'll be very excited. There was a student who took Religion 101 with me, um, came to see me during office hours, uh, took other courses with me, continued conversations, and then approached me about doing an independent studies course. So in that case, basically what he does is he tells me what he's interested in, um, and I tell him if it's something that I'm competent to help him with. Uh, then we simply meet uh, at a schedule that we determined between the two of us and he proceeded to do independent research. Um, in this particular case, what he wanted to talk about was religion and Pixar. And it turned out that um, after doing some research, he found out that no one had done any research on Pixar and religion, so he was the first person to really do this kind of work. Uh, he created a website and that's how he um, presented his research. He didn't write a standard paper and that was something else that we worked out between the two of us. He had never, in fact, done a website before. He'd never created one, so this was his first website. So he got to learn lots of different kinds of skills. <laughs> 